Welcome to our new video. Today we're going to show you how to take out a starter from uh, uh, what they call a um, Fiat Strada. So it's 2005 model. So first of all what you have to do, you have to take out your battery. And uh, also we're going to show you the position where the starter is. So we disconnected the battery. So now you can see where he's touching let me do the other side did you find it yeah bro okay so we I, I hope you can see it's under this down down so he that's why i'm gonna take what they call can't go down down but I, I think you can see the the hand his hand so it's gonna unscrew those screws then it takes out the starter so once we take it out we're gonna show you so the car doesn't start that's why they we want to change it it's not the battery but the starter I think the brushes are gone so that's why we're taking out the start so Strada is a very very difficult car complicated I would say uh, because sometimes you want to take out some part and that part is not in the place where other cars place those our parts you get me so uh, one of them um, one of the the, the problems were uh, how to take out the petrol filter petrol filter took me almost a month to see to, to see where it is located so in a strata if you're using Fiat Strata, you just know that your parts are not found easily. So that's why we make videos like this. The starter is uh, somewhere here. I think you can see uh, that's the starter here. You can see where I'm trying to touch. The engine is hot. You can see my fingers. The engine is hot, but you can see where the fingers are going down there. That's where the starter is. So. If you want to take it out, you're going to get some, I'm going to give you, these are the uh, spanners, so I'm going to give you which kind of spanners you need. So, uh, let me let me wait for the mechanic to come, then we we'll proceed. You need a 13 spanner, so he got it now, so he's trying to squeeze it, his hand in to take it out. It's not something easy, that's why you have to pay for a, prof a professional to do it for you, so if you can then this video is gonna be very good for you. So he's trying to unscrew everything. So I think he's getting everything right. Uh, Come on. It's getting, uh, it's getting difficult. Uh, so yeah he's taking it out but you can see where the positioning is the most important thing maybe you can jack your car and unscrew it from the bottom i don't know what you can but now the major issue here is to see where is the starter positioned and which spanner you look you should use you have to use a 13 spanner to unscrew this so he's busy with it uh, I guess you can see the hand there that's the way it's positioned okay so. so I'm gonna take out the bolts one by one They are already losing so he's trying to take them by hand Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, he took out one, so it looks like this. Yeah, it looks like that. And I said 13, you can see. It's a 13 spanner. You need to bolt is 13, so you need a 13 spanner. So it's gonna take out everything, then you're gonna see the starter. It was easy to take out that one, the first one, but now the second one needs something like a socket. So he brought another spanner, the socket spanners. But this time is not. Uh, is not getting it out from a diff from the same position so it's taking it out from a different position You can see whenever it pushes that, then it moves. It's not that clear to you to see, but uh, it took out. It's gonna, you're gonna see what it took out. some space here? No. Okay. You can see, I think it's loose and you can see. Okay, so, so it's taking it out. There are cables which are connected to it, so when you're taking it out, you have to take them out. You can see now, but because the, 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 the space is so small, so it's giving him some problems to, to take it out. So it's gonna, something has to press to. The starter is out, but now he has to press some cables to take take them out you can see those cables so the connections okay. so also there is some screw 
see that scroll is trying to take it out also the last scroll also uses a 13 12 yeah it uses a 12 sorry about that guys It's not that easy because the space there's not much space when somebody's doing this. Yeah. Well, this one is that we, we pulled it out. So when I take out the last screw, it's, we're using a, is it a 10 or 10? We're using a 10. Yeah, I can see 10. Okay. Good. Ah. So we done. So let me see something. So this is the way it looks like. So what we needed to do to know that we need spanner 12, we need a 10. We also need a 13, right? We need only three spanners. Also, you can use a socket spanner to take out the starter. So we take it, we took it out. So the guy is gonna service it to see if the brushes are still fine and all that. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next video.